You know, one of the things that really attracts me to woodworking is learning new skills and trying out some new techniques. And the satisfaction that you get in being able to use a tool skillfully or to finally master a particular technique. However, there are some things that it just takes a while to figure it out. You know, like for me, it's miters. I end up avoiding them because it just seems like if I try and get a mitered picture frame, there's always gonna be a gap no matter what seems to happen. Yeah, and I think from what's sitting in front of me, you can tell what my kryptonite is, <laughs> and that's glass. And it's funny because it's not always my kryptonite. I cut glass all the time at home. You know, I love making clocks. Most of them have glass in them. However, whenever I try to cut glass on camera for the show, it never works. You know, this season we made uh, picture frames, mm -hmm. and I was trying to film a segment on cutting glass uh, to show everybody how to cut glass for a picture frame. And you notice, if you watch that episode, we don't show that. <laughs> On the surface of it, cutting glass seems really simple. Oh, it does. It's just a, you, know, you use a simple tool, you score the line, and you break it. Not a big deal, right? Exactly. Well, shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> and after three, three pieces of glass in that episode, none of which broke well, uh, I asked our shop craftsman. You know, I, I was kind of in the shop, maybe venting a little bit to him on how it didn't work, and I never have a problem with it. And he, he said, hey, have you ever replaced your cutter? Because these simple little wheel cutters do wear out. I said, you know, Steve, I don't know how long that cutter's been in the drawer here on the set. So I went and got, got a new cutter. Lo and behold, that was the issue. So sharp tools. Sh Who would have thought? Yeah, <laughs> sharp tools. So I would like to take this opportunity for a little bit of a redemption. All right, go for it. All right. So we're going to use a little bit of cutting oil. All right. Not that I don't trust you, but I'm going to put well, some glasses on. Not a bad idea. All right. I'm gonna use a straight edge here. And I, I won't put gloves on just yet. I'll wait till I go to break it. So we'll just take a little bit off this guy. Actually, let's go right in the center. Give myself the best opportunity, right? And it's always a good idea to use a straight edge. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're trying to cut glass to fit in a rabbit, like picture frames or doors. Mm -hmm. And then, I can never remember which side of the cut you're supposed to tap, so I usually tap both sides. Okay. Okay. Then, I like to go to the edge, give her. Hey! All right. All right. <laughs> just like that. Well, and you don't really think about it because you don't use a glass cutter all exactly. that often, but glass really is a pretty abrasive material and pretty hard on tooling. But it's also something that's gonna apply to a lot of things is having sharp cutters, sharp blades, mm -hmm. sharp bits. And learning a little technique and getting comfortable with it. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks for watching. If you liked that tip, be sure to subscribe to the Woodsmith Shop channel. We're always adding new shop tips and woodworking videos every week. So hit the bell button to be notified, plus look for project plans and downloads in the description below.